Good morning, my name is Adele Cartwright and I'd firstly like to thank you for allowing me to have this opportunity um, here today at Oldham College. Before I delve into my presentation to tell you all the exciting things that I'd like to do with Oldham College and your Centre of Excellence, I'd like to tell you a little bit about myself and how I started out in this industry. I started out 22 years ago as an 18 year old young girl and I decided to go straight in head first in self-employment and during this time I learned so much about myself and gained a multitude of skills. I learned how to build a clientele. Back then we didn't have social media. I had to go out and get my clients in and build my column. I had to think on my feet and gain so much confidence as, as a young girl at 18. I decided to do that and I built a successful column, which is what we called it back then in a hair and beauty salon. And I went on to working in employment as a senior therapist, managing a team of therapists that were below me. I gained more skills during that time. I managed a group of girls that I hadn't done before. I had to be fiercely independent and organised. I loved that role so much, but I felt like I had so much more to give within that industry. So I decided to open my own hair and beauty salon. Again, during that time, I was thinking on my feet. I was liaising and networking with external businesses. Social media was a thing then, so I found marketing a lot more easier. And to be honest with you, it was something that I really enjoyed doing. I built up a great business within that time period, but really decided that I wanted to go into education. It was at that point during my career that I decided to complete my assessors and teaching qualification. I was so passionate about the hair and beauty industry that I felt I could improve it um, by adding my modernised skills following the structure of the qualification. I then decided to go and work in FE and work for training providers. During this time, the person that I am, I tend to absorb everything around me and I want to learn and know about everything. I delved into the funding streams. I actually got offered to manage a large training centre. I did decline that role um, because I wanted to open my own. So I then opened my own VTCT approved training salon in Manchester. I worked with numerous external training providers within that time. I managed to secure um, a tender and I got on the framework for the Manchester Grove Company, which you are probably familiar with. Um, I delivered VTCT qualifications. I had a team of tutors. I managed the whole provision and I absolutely loved it. Um, COVID was a difficult time for me and my business. But the person that I am during that time, I decided to seize an opportunity and I launched my own product brand. Um, and then once we reopened, I'm not going to lie, it was a difficult trying time for my business. Um, taking that into concept and the fact that I really had to find out the hard way that it was impossible for me to gain a direct contract with the government for funding. I decided in September last year that I could no longer continue with National Training Salon. I have so many skills that I feel I could add to any business. I really thrive in a demanding and stressful environment um, and I do um, love being in high pressure roles. So here is my presentation.